Nigerians continue to rejoice over the release of the kidnapped students in Kankara, Garaba Shewu, the senior special assistant, media and publicity to President Muhammadu Buhari, who haven't forgotten, he once said that only 10 students were missing, has now humbled himself and said sorry for his mistakes. <laughs> Garaba Shewu, this is not the first time you speak without thinking. You have been doing this since your master came into power. In fact, you and your colleagues, you people will just talk without thinking. What are you guys taking Nigerians for? For goodness sake, for, don't, 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 don't forget that after your job, there is still life. Because you want to protect your principal, you want to protect your job, you just want to say anything you like to say without thinking. It's not today now you guys have been doing this. Where are we going to start from? Are we going to start from uh, during COVID-19 uh, 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 pandemic? We know uh, what happened. So many billions of dollars that was donated. You guys said you distributed it to all Nigerians. To the extent, calling states that received 30,000 30, naira, and nothing went to Nigerians' account. We have to stop this. Because God in heaven is watching. Are we going to talk about the NSAS crisis? We know what happened at Lekito Gate. You guys said that no life was lost. But people are still mourning their children that was killed by a uh, Nigerian mil uh, military. What are we talking about? Is it the Boronu, the, 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 the Boronu, uh, what happened in Boronu the other day when uh, 43 farmers were, were, was beheaded? This man came to say, waiting to make them not take part from military. He was blaming the dead, that they caused their own dead because they did not take part from the military before going to the farm. And I know say if you want to go peace now for Nigeria, you will go tell military say I won't come out too. What is all this? This is very, very shameful. Enough of this disgrace. You are not just disgracing yourself. You are disgracing the whole the whole Nigerians. Because the world, the whole world is is is, is seeing what is happening. Enough of these things. How can you say only 10, 10 students? was kidnapped. Are you even supposed to, to give Nigeria the numbers? Were you there? You are not a parent. You are not even you are you are you are not even the principal of the school. So how come did you get the numbers? People that are there told you the numbers. You 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 said no. So what happened now? Next time if you won't talk, you go think very well. I beg my people, this is Prospect Channel TV. If you are here for the first time, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to click the bell icon. This is where you get notification whenever we upload any video from this channel. Thank you very much for always coming out here. Now the news reading details. As Nigerians continue to rejoice over the release of the kidnapped students in Kankara, Garaba Shew, the senior special assistant, media and publicity to President Muhammad Buhari, who haven't forgotten, he once said that only 10 students we are missing, has now humbled himself and said sorry for his mistake. Recall that some days ago, while some uh, of the attacked students who escaped the kidnappers were returning, Garaba Shew told Nigerians that his thoughts said only 10 were missing hugely reducing the numbers being reported at the time. His comments at the time sparked a bit of an outrage among some Nigerians who felt he said that to protect the, pres the president who was being criticized for the security situation in the country. However, the number of the students freed by the adopters on Thursday proved he was completely wrong, and today the President's senior special assistant has apologized to Nigerians, saying his mistake was unintentional and is sorry. A statement Garabashe posted on his verified Twitter account on Friday reads, 
apologized for the incorrect communication, citing that only 10 students were kidnapped at the science school Kankara. This communication of numbers were proved by persons that should ideally know these numbers were seen to conflict with what was available at that time. Please understand that this communication was in no way done to downplay the seriousness of the situation. Please accept my sincere apologies on this matter as we continue to move our great nation, Nigeria, forward. Thank you, he said. All right, someone said, yeah. <laughs> I would like you to know that your your inability not to think well and deep before making statements show you are an unreasonable person. Your apology not needed because soon you will still show the world your unreasonable attitude based on your way of reasoning and comment. Okay, someone said, yeah, God will soon expose you people very soon. And you will know that God Almighty is not a man that you play with. You people are playing with the lives of Nigerians. You created Boko Haram. You can imagine what you did the very first day the president visited Kasina State after one year. Kidnappers adopted students from the uh, school. What a country. <laughs> you know, I used to say that this country is a, a drama country. Anybody can just come, you will add a drama and go. Now, drama, all of them just they add. But no, Wahala, God, they heaven, if they watch, one day, one day, it go better, and God will shame them. So, hello, guys, I'm going to drop it here for now. Let's hear from you. Kindly leave your opinion below the comment section. Thank you very much.